Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your iPhone gets wet. If your iPhone just got wet and you're in an emergency, check the description section below. We have some timestamps, just skip ahead to the what to do when your iPhone gets wet part of this video, but we want to start with some background information. First of all, newer iPhones are water resistant, they're not waterproof. They're designed to be able to handle, you know, being submerged in one to two meters of water for about up to 30 minutes. Um, so if you drop it to the bottom of the lake and it's stuck there for a day or two, you're probably not going to have a safe iPhone. Uh, and also keep in mind that that water resistance can wear down over time. So if it, you know, when it comes out of the box, it's in great condition, but over time, especially if you drop your iPhone in, wa in water over and over and over again, it might start to wear away a little bit. Yeah, and water resistant doesn't necessarily mean shampoo resistant or soapy water resistant. It means regular old water resistant. And Apple Care still does not cover water damage. If you have Apple Care Plus, you pay less to replace a phone if it does get water damaged. But even though iPhones are water resistant now, they can still be water damaged. Yep. And every iPhone also has a liquid contact indicator, which lets you know if your iPhone has been exposed to liquid. And on every iPhone since the iPhone 5, you can find that in the SIM card slot. Let's talk about some of the symptoms of iPhone water damage. Yeah, and I'm gonna do this in a funny voice, because why not? If your iPhone gets hot, no sound, won't charge, can't recognize SIM, no service, Apple logo flashing or stuck, camera not working, display discoloration, won't turn on at all. Stuck in headphones mode. All of those are symptoms of iPhone water damage. And one of the things that I wanted to mention, almost forgot to, is that unless your iPhone is in tip top shape, the water resistance might not work. So I, at one point, dropped my phone and cracked the screen slightly. That means that it's no longer water resistant. So unless your phone is new, it's in great shape, don't trust the water resistant coating. If, if water gets in there, it's still not covered under Apple Care Plus. And yes, if you have Apple Care Plus, it costs a lot less to replace your phone than it does if you don't. So it's a good idea to have it. There's just the deductible. But water damage, we always say at the Apple store is like an insidious thing because even if your phone's working fine for a week after the water damage, little bits of liquid can remain in your phone. You'd be amazed at how much water can actually get in a phone and then can cause problems a week later, a month later. Things just go wrong randomly, and that's why Apple doesn't repair water damaged phones, they just replace the phone. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about what to actually do when your iPhone is exposed to water. The first step is just to wipe away any water on the outside of the phone. Right, and as we do this, we're going to try to keep our phone relatively horizontal, because if you go vertical with it, the water, if it's inside the phone, is just going to go all the way to one side and touch every little electrical component along the way. Yeah. So as we do this whole process, just do your best to kind of keep it like this. Don't go shaking it or, or trying to get it out that way. So use a microfiber cloth. This I found in Walmart in the car section. Microfiber cloth, just gently wipe off any excess water that's on the phone itself. Yep. Once you've done that, Remove the SIM card from your phone. This is two purposes. One, you're saving your SIM card, so if you have to get a new phone, you can just pop it into the new phone. And the SIM card tray also allows some air to get in and hopefully have some of that water evaporate. Right. So I gotta take off my case to be able to do this. And then you could just use a paper clip. So what you do is you stick this in the side of your phone, a little hole, press down. You might have to apply some pressure here and that's okay and out will pop the SIM tray. This has your SIM card in it. You can just dry these off too, because chances are they'll be a little bit wet, and set them aside. And as David said, now air is gonna be able to get into the hole in the side of your iPhone, and that's gonna to help to dry it out. And essentially, we wanna just let the phone dry out by itself. We don't want to shake it out, we don't wanna put rice in it, we don't wanna do anything to force it. It's just gonna evaporate, because that's what water does, if we create the right conditions. So what's our next step, David? Our next step is to take your phone and lay it on a nice flat surface. And if you have any desiccants lying around, put those on top of your phone. Right, desiccants are these little packets. I just keep a few in my kitchen drawer that I've gotten from shoes that I bought or clothes or things on Amazon that come with these little packets. These are designed to keep water out of products that you buy. 
And these are actually effective on a whole other level than something like rice, which really doesn't work because you can't get the rice close enough to the water. There's all sorts of scientific studies on that. Desiccants actually do work. So if I set a couple of these on top of the phone, that's going to attract the water and aid in the process of drying it out. Yep, and now you just sit back, be patient, wait about 24 hours, try to let the water evaporate out of your phone. And then after that 24 hours is up, try turning your iPhone on again. Mm -hmm. If it turns on, back it up as soon as you can, because as you said earlier in this video, water damage is insidious. It might come back and cause something down the road, maybe in a week, a couple days. So having that back up just in case your phone breaks is really important. Absolutely it is, 100%. And I just have to say this, do not use rice to try to dry out your iPhone. And I probably should have said it earlier in the video, but for the love of God, people, we used to see people come in all the time with phones and when they come in with the Apple store and their phone's water damaged, they'd either lie about it. And what would happen like half the time, they say, I don't know what happened. What's wrong with your phone? I don't know, phone broke. So then we'd take it in the back to the genius room and there'd be a piece of rice stuck in the charging port. And a lot of the time we weren't even able to get the piece of rice out. You'd be amazing, amazed. It wasn't for lack of trying or skill. It's uh, if you jam something in that charging port, it is really hard to get it out especially without damaging the phone itself. And a grain of rice is kind of the perfect size to fit inside the lightning port at the bottom of the phone. So don't lie to Apple techs, you know, cause they'll know. Sometimes we would open the phone up, you know, to take a look inside and it would be just sopping wet. And we would take it out to the customer and, like, and they'd be like, all right, I dropped it in water. I don't want to come across as judgy, but nobody likes to have a water damaged phone. The LCIs as well. The liquid contact indicators are red on the inside and yeah, you'll have better luck if you just sort of admit it and, and go from there. But yep. yeah, there what also, was I gonna say? Yeah. What was I, go ahead, David. Yeah, there are a few other things that I've seen recommended that don't really work. One is putting your iPhone in the freezer. Uh, this <laughs> won't allow your the water inside of your phone to escape. It'll just freeze it in there. So it's still stuck in there. You take your phone out and the water will melt and spread all over your phone and you'll, it'll be water damaged anyway, so. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, terrible idea. Yeah, water no. evaporates, especially when there's a desiccant around or a dry area. Don't put it in a plastic bag with rice because the plastic bag is just gonna keep the moisture in. It, do, it doesn't work. I mean, you think that it might, and some people will say, oh yeah, I put my phone in rice and it worked, but like their phone wasn't water damaged anyway, a lot of the time. It do, it's not like once, once water damage is done to the phone, it doesn't undo itself. So the idea is to give your phone the best chance of not becoming water damage in the first place, even if there's water inside. We don't wanna splash it around and short circuit things out because once it's short circuited, generally it's time for a new phone. So uh, rice is not gonna help. Yeah, one last quick mix misconception to clear up is a blow dryer. Uh, people think <laughs> yeah. that the heat from the blow dryer will just make the water evaporate, but what it will actually do is push the water around in your phone and it'll start reaching more parts of your phone it can cause damage that way. Yeah, because water, you know, it pools in a certain area. And when we would open up the phone, a lot of the times people get lucky because it would pool in a certain area, like on top of the battery. It's not great, but uh, it wasn't touching any of the actual electronic components. And so sometimes those phones would, would survive, whereas other phones would not. It is really luck of the draw with water damage. Yep, one way to avoid getting water damage is to put your iPhone in a nice waterproof pouch anytime that you're you know, going on a boat or hanging out by the pool. Uh, that's yep. just one quick way to keep it safe. Going on a boat, going around water. So we have these waterproof pouches. They come with really cool lanyards for added dorkiness around the pool. Everybody likes one of these. Yeah, Put your you, phone inside. You get those on Amazon. I think a two pack costs like $10. It's totally worth it. And so there are some cheap ones and there are some expensive ones. I actually have a cheap one and I, it works fine for me. So I, I wouldn't recommend paying $25, $30 for one of these pouches. Now, and, and these aren't the best thing in the world. They're, they're not great. They, you can kind of use your phone through it. A lot of them say, oh, you can touch the phone through it, but you, it kind of works, but not well. Uh, you know, yep. not great. Yeah. yeah. But so get that's, one, yeah, especially that's, with kids, sorry. Yeah. That's what to do when your iPhone gets wet. We have a, like a 7,000 word article on Pay It Forward about iPhone water damage. Check that out if you need more information. Uh, lots of great info in there. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.